didn't get a good chance to look at that uh, newspaper article, so I kind of scanned it till when, uh, when I called. That's all right. You didn't have to come over. Well, that's what friends are for, you know. Yeah, well, great. Okay. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, you looked okay, so I think I'm leaving. Well, what's, what's wrong? What's the matter? <laughs> Does anything look... Nothing, just the usual, you know, um, death and destruction and uh, all that kind of thing. Sit down, tell me about it. Look, I have a police department to run. We'll talk oh, no, I don't think so. Now, you've been acting pretty strange recently. Me? Yeah, you. And I let you get away with it the other day, but not now. You're I don't to... like to be uh, pushed, look, Anna. Look, it's me you're talking to, all right? Now, I know when you're up to something, and you're up to something. I think I should say anything. That's fine, but you're not leaving here until you do. This is triple A important for your ears only, all right? Fine. Catherine wasn't killed in that uh, car accident on the Lake Road. She's still alive? She's been holed up at the cottage for the last two weeks. reaction was similar to mine when she sort of just flounced out of nowhere. What happened? What, what, she, well, she saw her leave the concert, didn't you? Yeah, well, apparently, uh, after she left the concert and between the uh, parties, she got this notion to fly to Paris. Paris? That's my reaction. Who was in the car? Well, from what I can ascertain, it was stolen from the airport. We still haven't been able to identify the body and perhaps we never will. I, I wish, I know I can't, but I wish I could tell Robin. I wish There's a reason I... for that. I'm setting a trap for the killer. You want people to still think she's dead? Right. If enough people think that, maybe the killer will get careless, and that's what I'm waiting for. That's great. It's great. She's alive. My God, how do you feel? Well, being holed up in that cottage for two weeks is probably more than two grown people should really have to put up with. Well, there was a lot of after dinner chat, but little else, if you know what I mean. No, what do you mean? <laughs> Aren't we the nosy ones? Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever I mean, it probably doesn't mean much anymore because I think after this morning, I, I might have blown it. I'm telling you, it was an Olympic performance. She weaved and bobbed and ducked, and every time I opened my trap. Well, Ellen, may maybe you didn't say the right thing. Well, look, I said everything but the oath of allegiance. There was nothing else left to say. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm just stunned. I can hardly believe it. Huh. This morning I said, uh, I get home, no more ifs and buts and ands. That's nice. You, you gave her an ultimatum, though, did you? That's, that's yeah, great. I said, uh, when I, later on, it's uh, come clean or ante up. I said, Andy, up or else. Or else? Oh, that's well, lovely. Lovely wording. I love that. It's nice. Words to that effect. Yeah, very nice. Well, you know, I'm, I'm surprised that she behaved like that, but um, I would have avoided the issue in the same circumstance. You're trying to make me feel good? No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay, maybe it is unrequited love. I don't know. It's going to stay unrequited, too, I think. I'm very pleased, though. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm pleased that finally one of you faced up to it. I, I, I did the facing. Nobody else. It was a majority of one. Well, you, you usually like women that are hard to get, don't you? Yeah, not this hard to get. I think I should talk to her, maybe. I don't need you butting into my problems, if you don't mind. Oh, no, you do such a good job of it yourself. Besides, you have enough frustration behind those blue eyes. Oh, they're brown, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong yeah. person. <laughs> Sorry. You know me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, um, I don't know. It's... Can't be easy having to face the mob like that. No, it's not. It's, um... How was Duke when you last spoke to him? He was all right. Um, I think the deposition will be finished today. Yeah, but what about the testimony? Uh, I don't know about that yet. But I think that the DA would be a fool if he didn't put him on the stand. Of course he's their star witness. Yeah. 
I just wish that they would tell him, you know, so then we'd know whether we need to take the next step or not. Well, I don't profess to be an expert on your husband, but from what I do know of him, he's not going to put his family in personal happiness below everything. He loves you all too much to sort of create any unnecessary jeopardy. <laughs> 